how to make a gradient in Photoshop. With the new version, it's slightly different. So you've got two options now to create in gradients. So just go over here to the gradient tool. Here's the gradient tool. Select that, just press G on the keyboard if you want. As Soon as you've done that, you'll notice you've got here, you've got gradient. This is the new type of gradient and also classic gradient. I'm just gonna go with classic gradient. So classic gradient, and you can click just here. Just make sure you click here, just once, just click, and then you'll see all the colors that make up that current gradient you're using. Now, this obviously will be different for you, but you can go and select any of them and reposition them, but you can also simply select it like that, just simply click on it, and then just drag off. As soon as you've done that, you just get this other color there, the purple. You can again select that one, and again, click and drag off. And you can repeat that. Now you can actually end up with just a single gradient stop, single one, single color stop. And you can recolor it. So you just go there, you might decide, I want it to be red or pink. So that's it, that's the gradient. Now that's not a very good gradient, so I'm just gonna go down here and drag this along. And that's 100% position, you can see you can modify the location here. But you can also click along here, just click there, and because it was using that pink, it's just added it again as pink. It does that. So if you've got one selected, click somewhere else, it will use that color. But this I can change. So I just click there, and now I'll go, maybe go for black. So you can then see you've got black all the way through to pink. And if you apply the gradient, it will be applied black to pink doesn't actually store at this point whether it's linear and all those sort of things. So that is a later stage. What you can do, you can move it, you can reposition it, you might decide, you know what, I want it more black than purple. So just simply just drag along like that and put the gradient stop there. You can do that. Also, you can simply click there and drag it back again. You can also do the same with the pink. So just go there and you just click. Just drag it and you can see you get a lot more pink. Now, if you drag it off, it will go. But you just drag it along, something like that, and you've got a very pink design. Now, what you can also do, you've got this midpoint, which you can do much the same then as before. So just simply drag there, you get more black. Or you drag it that way, you get more pink in the mix. What you can also do is you can add some additional ones. You can add lots and lots. And it's a, probably a good idea to stretch this actual gradient out. You can actually have it like that, which I find it, you know, okay, but I find it easier to work with filling virtually the whole screen with my editor. And I can now click again, just down here, and it will add again another pink. And I can click here, the color, and I can change it to say green. So now I've got black, green, and pink. And I can also change color again, or I can simply change the location. So I can push it over that way, or push it that way. You can just move it around. Now you can create 50 different color stops. You can just add more and more. Just go all the way down, just add another one, click, and then change it to red. Once you're happy with your gradient, simply go over here. Just go to new. Now at this point, it will just add it down the bottom here. And you can move it around, reposition it in this panel. So just click new, and there you've got your gradient. And you can change, of course, other things here. You can click here and make it more green. Now, it doesn't change this. If you change this, you go over this one and just add additional stops. Maybe change the color maybe to blue. Click OK. It doesn't change this. When you do want to save it, just click New. So New, and then you've got your gradient added there. You'll notice also along the top, you've got these. This is opacity stops or transparency stops, whatever way you want to say it. But what you can do, you can add, so transparency, so now you know, so I've got this one, and the opacity set to 47. Well, you can set it to zero. So then, if you set it to zero, you can see now, when you apply this gradient, what you'll get is this black, then green, and then you won't get anything in the center, you'll be able to see through to whatever's there already. So if it's an image, you'll see the image at this point around this area, you'll be able to see through it. And then that will steadily fade and you will not see the image once you get to this solid over here. Because this is 100%, so click there, 100%, so you can't see through it. Okay, what you can do, again, if you want to save this type of gradient, 
simply click new again. Say you decide, oh, you know what, I've got this grain here. You can see a lot of gradients. You might decide you've got say, orange or something. You might think, oh, that looks lovely, but I just want to add some green to it. So just click, and now you can see this. You've got the color here. Well, just click here. Gain doesn't modify this. So you just click and then go here, and you can change it, maybe make it green, and click OK. And again, to save it, to save it permanently, simply click New. This time, it does say, it saves it where it's currently located. So if you've got something selected, it will save it in that category. You can move them around. So if you decide, you know what, I don't want that gradient I've just created there, I can just drag it down and you can see then, you can reposition it over to the set and so on. And then click OK. Now, you can apply it. Now you can apply it with a number of different modes. So I'm just gonna, or types, and you can see just like that. You can go for radial, angler, mirror, reflected, and then a diamond, and you can apply it again like that. Now, all these presets are not stored away here for this. If you wanna save that, what you can do is you can go over here. Just click here and you've got this preset. It's a slightly different. It stores the information such as the various blend mode, this type, the opacity, reverse, all that sort of information is stored away here. The other type of gradient which we just created doesn't store that. So at this point, you can just go, let's go add that. So create new tool preset and I can call it diamond one. Include gradient, click OK. And now you can select that one and you can see straight away, apply it. Again, click there, click that one. And again, you can apply your gradient very quickly that way. And you can see your gradient there. You can also create gradients with a new type of gradient as well. So just go over here and select gradient. Now I think personally, it's not so easy, but obviously you get used to it. So move it around, reposition it. But this grain, you can then go along here and you can do exactly the same. And you can move this out, maybe make it a bit bigger. And you can then, if you want, go along the line. You think, let's just hover just there. You just hover there, you notice you get a plus. That means you can add a stop. So just click, and now you've got that color stop. To change the color of this, simply select it. And source, when you select it, you'll notice it's slightly bigger. This one's slightly smaller, smaller, smaller. This one's the big one. That's the current one. Double click and it will bring up the color picker. With the color picker, you can then change the color. Just change it. So it's an interactive tool. And click OK. And you can do exactly the same. You can go to this color, the green, and double click again, brings up the picker. And you can make it maybe blue. And you can change it that way. You may prefer creating them this way. However, it's not stored. This, this preset is not stored. If you want to save as a preset, so you've got this and you think this is great, this is a really wonderful gradient. To save it, go to Window and go down to Gradients or use this again. Just simply go up here, click here and you'll notice you haven't got the editor. So if you click on there, the editor doesn't pop up. It only pops up with this panel, but you can do it from the gradients here or you can go here and you've got a little plus. So again, simply with that, you can click plus and you give it a name, X, Y, Z, whatever you want. Click OK and it's added there. So it's stored away in your gradients. You can do exactly the same here. And if you go over here, there it is down there. So it's stored there as well. Another way to change a gradient or create a new gradient is to go to window and down here to properties. So properties, got that. And you can see you've got gradient controls. And again, you've got this. You've got all the colors here that you've got in this gradient. Now this is only available for this type of gradient, not the other gradient, the classic gradient. So you can just go here and you can change it. Again, just select there. And as you do that, you'll see the black changes. Click the blue and again, it's slightly bigger. And then you can drag and that will, again, get slightly bigger as it approaches that. Now. You can also drag this out, so you can actually make this a lot bigger as well, which I find a bit easier. And again, just go along here and you've got the little plus, 
you hover along and you can click and add a color stop. So just click and now, as before, change your color. Double click and then bring up the color and change it to red or green, etc. If you decide you want this red different position, simply go down here to location and you can just change it. So you change it and you see as it goes through and you make 47, 56, etc. Just drag it along that way. Notice there's no option for actually saving it in this panel. It's very odd. However, what you can do, just go up here, click here, and then click plus. Just click the plus here, create a new preset, and you can see then you get the option, and again, X, Y, Z, one, and click OK. So now it's stored away in your gradients panel, so you can use it in the future. So if you want to use the gradient, simply go over here to the gradients panel, click, and then apply. And you can apply it in either mode. So apply it in classic, or go to gradient and apply it as a gradient fill layer. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.